the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray for revival. We pray tonight. We pray that the power of the Holy Ghost we come into our midst tonight. That the Lord shall be glorified in the name of Jesus. Are you praying tonight? Are you praying? Are you praying and giving thanks to God? For the power in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We pray with the authority in the name of Jesus tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every circumstance we change tonight. Whatever that is contrary to the will of God we change tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. As we come before you Lord. Father we exalt you for the name that is above every other name. The name that you have given to us. The name that you have given to us. We exercise that name tonight and we thank you for the power in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the authority in the name of Jesus. Tonight, as we come, Lord, we give you praise. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. And we pray tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the glory. Father, we give you all the praise. Father, we adore you tonight. Thank you for the opportunity of coming, of approaching the throne of mercy, this altar of mercy in the name of Jesus and by the name of Jesus. Father, we are very grateful for the gift of the name of Jesus. Blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen and amen and amen in Jesus' name. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the altar of mercy. Before we start to pray tonight, I just want to encourage us in the power in the name of Jesus so that when we start to pray, you will pray, you will understand. The Bible says we should praise the Lord with understanding, but we should also pray with understanding. If you're going to be exercising the authority in the name of Jesus, there are certain things we need to understand. There are certain things that we need to put to mind so that we can pray effectively tonight. The Bible says the fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. But how would the righteous pray? And the prayer will avail much. It is by the name of Jesus. It is upon the authority of the name of Jesus. The book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 4, verse 12. I'm just going to show us some scriptures before we start to pray tonight. The book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 4, verse 12. The Bible says, we have been given a name. Can you say to yourself, I have been given a name. And this name is not ordinary. This name is not ordinary. The Bible says in that Acts of Apostles 4 12, it says, and there is no salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven that has been given among people by which we must be saved. For God has provided the world no alternative for salvation. Only the name of Jesus has been provided for us. So we have been given that name. And that's the reason why we can approach God through the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Someone was asking me a question one day. He said, when we pray, must we add the name of Jesus to it? Can't we just pray directly to God without, without going through the name of Jesus? I said, why do you want to give yourself issues? The, the, the Father, the Father that you are praying to, said to us, this is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. You know, the father you have, you want to pray to introduce the son to you and say through him, he is the way, the, the truth and the life. And through him, we come to him. And the Bible says, when we pray in that Jesus has been given a name that is above every other name. He said, ask anything in my name. Ask the father, the father will do it. Then why won't I pray in the name of Jesus? Why would I want to pray in my own name? My name cannot do anything. My name cannot open anything, cannot even open any door. But the name of Jesus can do everything that we desire. So why would I bypass the name of Jesus? When it is through that name that I obtain mercy, I obtain grace, you know. So tonight we are praying because this month is the month of authority. And we are exercising the authority in the name of Jesus. So we have been given a name. And through that name we get to the Father. That is one truth I want you to hold on to. And you know the Lord Jesus who has this name, the name through which we reach the Father. Hear what he said to us in John chapter 15, verse 16. 
John chapter 15, verse 16. Hear what Jesus said. He said, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. And I have appointed and placed you purposefully and planted you so that you will go and bear fruit and keep on bearing fruit and that your fruit will remain and the last thing. So that whatever you ask the Father in my name as my representative, he may give it to you. When you bear fruit, you know, the one that we ask anything, and it may not be so, is someone who is not bearing fruit. But when you bear fruit, when you follow Christ, no matter what you now ask, because you will be asking by the leading of the Holy Spirit, you will not be asking to consume on your own desire. You'll be asking because your mind will now be tuned to Christ. You will know what to ask. And when you ask according to his will, why won't he do it for you? Jesus went on further in John chapter 16, 23 to 24. John chapter 16, 23 to 24, he says, In that day, you will not need to ask me about anything. I assure you, I most solemnly say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name as my representative, he said, he will give you. Until now, you have not asked the Father for anything in my name. He said, but now, ask and keep on asking and you will receive so that your joy may be full and complete. I was sharing today, you know, the word of God with someone and I said, look, I believe in asking till my joy is full. I will keep on asking. I will keep on praising God. I will keep on reminding God about whatever I'm asking him so that my joy will be full because Jesus said, I should ask in his name until my joy is full. And so I'm saying to you tonight, if you have asked before, but you have not received what you are asking, I want to encourage you, keep on asking in the name of Jesus until you see the result of what you are asking for and ask in faith. Amen. And you know, lastly, before we, before we go into prayer, I want to show you something again. You know, when I came across this scripture, John chapter 16, 26 to 27, when I came across this scripture, I said, wow. Hear what Jesus said. John chapter 16, verse 26 to 27. He said, in that day, you will ask in my name. And hear what he said next. He said, and I am not saying to you that I will ask the Father on your behalf because it will be unnecessary. For the Father himself tenderly loves you because you have loved me and have believed that I came from the Father. He said, in that day, you will ask in my name. And I'm not saying to you that I will ask the Father on your behalf because it will be unnecessary. Which means with your own lips, you are going to be asking the Father in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. How many of you are ready tonight to ask the Father in the name of Jesus? Jesus said, when you just go to the Father, just go in my name. Just go in the authority of my name. I don't even need to beg the Father for you. I don't need to ask the Father for you. He said, you do the asking. You do the asking because as soon as you mention, you know, it's like somebody sending you somewhere and say, when you get there, just mention my name. You know, I don't know if you have experienced that before. Someone telling you, when you get to that place, just mention my name. Just, just mention my name. That when you mention my name, the door shall be opened. And then you get there, you mention the person's name, and the door is opened, you know, that, that is it. Jesus said to us that when we ask the Father, we should just ask in his name. Just say, Father, in the name of Jesus, as I am asking tonight, I believe that you are listening. I believe you are hearing me. You know, that is what we are doing tonight. So many of you are ready to ask the Father in the name of Jesus Christ. Until your joy is full, until you receive that which you have been asking for, please don't stop asking. And you know what? We are approaching the Father tonight on the authority of the name of Jesus Christ. It's a blank check that has been given to you. Just come to Jesus. Just come to the Father. Ask the Father whatever your need may be or whatever is the need of your family or whatever you have seen in your community, whatever you have seen in your environment that you want to change. You want changes to appear. I want you to ask tonight in the name of Jesus. And so we are going to be praying in the name of Jesus. How many of you are ready to call on the name of Jesus? The name above every other name. How many of you are ready tonight in the mighty name of Jesus that the Father may be glorified? That the Father may be glorified in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to give thanks to God again. Let's begin to give him praise and glory as we come tonight to his presence in the name of Jesus. For our God is here. He is ready to hear us. He is ready to listen to us. He is ready. He is ready. He is ready in the name of Jesus Christ. He is ready to hear us. 
Yes, you to give him praise and glory in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. Father, we honor you for the authority in the name of Jesus that you have given to us. We are so grateful. Thank you, mighty Redeemer. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen and amen and amen in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for tonight. Thank you, Lord. We are going to start our prayer by saying the prayer of forgiveness. Mm. We take this in the book of Luke 24, verse 7, that says, and that repentance, mm. as in the forgiveness mm. of sin, will be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. Mm. With, with this understanding this night, we are going to pray to Father, there, there is forgiveness of sin in the name of Jesus. Father, forgive us in the mighty name of all our trespasses. In the mighty name of Jesus, tonight, Father, forgive us in the mighty name of Jesus. Because it's the name of Jesus you are calling tonight, Father, might we pray tonight, Father, in the name of Jesus. Hey, Father, Almighty. Jesus. Bible says in chapter 16, 14 to 15. That's the speaking here. You know, it says the Holy Ghost is purified and honoring because he will take from what is mine and will dispose it to you. You know, how many of you want to have revelation you know, of what you need to pray for? Because when you know what you need to pray for, you know that the that problem is already solved. When you know that this is what you need to pray for and how you need to pray, Jesus said the Holy Spirit will disclose to us. You know what we need to ask. The all things that the Father has asked are mine. Because of this, I said that He, the Holy Spirit, will take from what I can. He will glorify none of me because. Holy Spirit will take your authority, your authority in that name of Jesus. Why you want to know more? I want to understand. I want to know more. I have to take the Holy Spirit will take from what is mine and will reveal it to you. The reveal more. Me. The authority in the name of Jesus. 
Give us words to say. Let us plead the blood of an active spiritual power in the name of Jesus. Amen. It is that name we are going to call tonight. Yes. And all our prayer will be answered. Amen. In the mighty name Amen. of Amen. In the book of Ephesians 1, 19. Mm -hmm. It says, and so that you will be begin to know what is immeasurable and mm -hmm. unlimited and surpassing greatness mm -hmm. of his active spiritual power is, is us who believe mm. that these are in accordance with the working of his mighty strength. Mm. The mighty name of God we are Father. going to pray tonight. Father, yes. feel the surpassing greatness of Jesus to me more than more and more. Amen. Mighty Amen. name of Jesus. Father Almighty, in Almighty. the name Almighty. of Jesus, we feel the surpassing the greatness of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus. Father, fill us in the name of Jesus. The feel the greatness of Jesus to us tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, the Father, bless of Jesus Christ. Father, for night, fill it to us. The surpassing greatness of Jesus Christ. We want more and more and more tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father Almighty, in the mighty name of Jesus, in our life, in our finances, in our household, in our family, Father, we pray tonight the greatness of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. Feel it cross, we feel it cross, we feel it cross more and more in the mighty name of of Jesus Christ, that every other Father in the name of Jesus, we have and the greatness we have in Jesus Christ, Father, here in this name, in this name, in the name of Jesus Christ, 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 Our prayer is, I am seated with Jesus. I am seated with Jesus. We come to the 
that's the the name of Jesus is above every other name. And so where are we as believers? We are seated in the heavenly realm. That is why when we speak the name of Jesus, situations must change. Declare to yourself, say, I am seated with Christ. I am seated with Christ. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 6. It says, And he raised us up together. He raised when Jesus was rising up from the dead. The Bible says God raised us up together. You know, when we believe in him, he raised us up together with him and seated us with him in the heavenly place. So many times we forget this thing. Many times we forget that we are actually seated with Christ Jesus. That is why we fear. That is why we order and do so many things. You know, so we panic, we worry because we forget where we are seated. So now the Lord is revealing to us again that when we are Christ Jesus, we are seated with him in heavenly places because we in Christ Jesus. So the Lord will be like, I declare my position tonight that I am seated with Christ Jesus. Okay. In the heavenly place, I will declare your position. Say it now. Let the devil hear. Let your people hear. Let people know that your position is clear. You are seated you are seated clear in that name of Jesus. So now it's time to be seated. I am seated to be seated. We are seated with Christ Jesus. In the holy places, we are seated with him. We are seated with him because we believe, because we follow him, because his name is at the other name. That is our father. Our father. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, we will not go from that field. We will not go down from that field. We will not forget our position. Say, I will not forget my position. I will not forget that thing. Where Jesus has placed him. take our next prayer mm. that says I am far above mm. through the name of Jesus. Amen. I am I am far, far above, above him him. Yes. in the mighty in the name, name of Jesus. Of far above the Almighty. With this we are going to take the book of Ephesians 1 mm. 21 mm. that says far above all rules Amen. and authority Amen. and power Amen. and dominion. Amen. Whether an, a, angelic or woman and far above every name that is named mm. above every title that can be converted, mm. not only in this age mm. and world, but also in the world to come. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, and with this understanding, we are going to say this prayer. I stand in the name of Jesus mm. tonight, mm. and I declare my victory over every name that is contrary to my well-being. In, in the, the mighty name of, name of Jesus, Jesus. Father Almighty, I stand in the name, name of Jesus, and, and I declare my victory over every name that is contrary to my word. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father Almighty, in the name of Jesus, Father Almighty, I stand in the name of Jesus, and I declare my victory. And I declare my faith. Every name that is whatever we don't allow me to I stand in the name of I declare my faith. 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 I declare my
I declare the people of my wife, I declare the people of my house, my family. And we stand in the name of Jesus. We stand in the name of Jesus. That is contrary to our wedding in the name of Jesus. Father, Father, I declare your victory. In the name of Jesus. We are far above the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. We give you the praise, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. As we are far above, we continue to decide who we are in the name of Jesus Christ. When the Bible says Jesus has been given a name that is above every other name, it's because of you. It's not because of Jesus. Because Jesus is already God. He's already man of God. But when God gave him that name, he saw that when he gave that name, it will work for you. So that that name will work for you. So that anything that has name, you just put them under the name of Jesus and they disappear. So tonight we are going to continue our declaration that every situation is under me in that name of Jesus. There's no situation that will overpower you. There's no situation that will overwhelm you. There's no temptation that can overwhelm you. Under your feet, the Bible says in Ephesians one twenty two, we are declaring the word of God, it's not the word of man. The Bible says, and he put all things in every yes. realm, either the heavenly realm, earthly realm, under the heart, wherever it is, any kingdom, any organization, any way. Mm. The Bible says he put in every hand, in subjection under Christ's feet yeah. and appointed him as supreme and authority and the church. Can I ask you a question? Are you in the church? I am part of the church. You are part of the church. That is the reason why tonight we call on this authority yeah. because the Bible says Jesus is the supreme and authoritative head over all things in the church and we are in the church. So you are going to be declaring, as all things are under Jesus, so all situations are under me. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, as all situations, all things are under Jesus, all situations are under me. In the name of Jesus, they are under Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, because I am in Christ Jesus, because we are in Christ Jesus, all things are under God. Into the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. He said, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Amen. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Amen. In the book of Proverbs 18:10, he said, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. 
in the righteous throne to it and it saves mm. and set on high mm. far above evil. Amen. This understanding tonight, we are going to say the prayer. Father, I bring myself and my household mm. into the strong tower of the name of Jesus. Father, hold my name your word Father, I pray myself of, and my family in the name of Jesus, Jesus into the strong tower in the name of Jesus Christ. That is the name of Jesus. Father, I package my family in the strong tower of the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. That is 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 the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, Father, let we bring our fire to the power. 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 We bring our in the mighty name of Jesus, Father Almighty, in the name of God, Jesus Christ, is a strong power. In the mighty name of God, as we run inside, we are saved. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are saved. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are saved. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are saved. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are saved. In the mighty name of in the name of Jesus. Oh, we are going to be praying right now. Signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus. Signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus. Signs and wonders. It's inside the name of Jesus. Jesus told us, and we are standing upon his word tonight. We are standing upon his word. He says in Mark chapter 17 to 18, what did he say? He said, these signs will accompany those who believe, those who have believed. So the only criteria for you tonight is believe. All right? That is the only criteria. As we are praying, have faith in the name above every other name. Have faith in the, don't have faith in your own name. Don't have faith in my name. Don't have faith in anybody's name. Don't have faith in the name of Jesus. Jesus said, when you believe in my name, he said, be found in my name. Jesus said, in my name, they will cast out demons. And their oppression, and oppressive spirit, and oppressing your health, oppressing your body, oppressing your home, oppressing your marriage. You know, there are demons all over that the devil sent on earth. They oppress people. They bring sickness, they bring job loss, they bring trouble in that. They bring so many things. The Bible says, Jesus said, in my name. So we speak for life. If there's anything that has been disturbing your peace, anything that has been disturbing your body, you are going to take your stand tonight and believe and say, in the name of Jesus. He said, we will cast out demons. We will speak in new tongues. We begin to prophesy. We will speak in new tongues that the devil cannot understand. You know, he said, in my name, they will pick up serpents. What is the serpent? What are serpents? Poisonous things that are, that are sent against us to kill us. We will cast it because we are eagles. You know, eagles pick up serpents. They take them to a high altitude. Remember, we are sitting. Take the serpent to a high altitude. We cast it against the rock. In the name of Jesus. So whatever has been sent to kill you, whatever has been sent to disturb your life, today you are picking them up. In the name of Jesus, afraid to pick them up. Don't be afraid to address that situation in your life. Everything bows to the name of Jesus. We can see this myself. Everything bows to the name of Jesus. The Bible says we will even drink anything deadly. Even if mistakenly you drink poison. That's what the Bible says. He said it will not hurt you. Let me give you a story. Before we pray about drinking poison. I'm not saying that you should go around looking for poison. But if we to turn to water. So turn to water. Let me give you a testimony. There was a man, a man who was in the laboratory, you know, and 
One day he got in his bottle, the bottle that maybe they used to put water in, someone poured acid in that bottle. And you know it's a clear acid that looks like water. So this man got in into his bottle, picked up the bottle and began to drink it. He, drank, he had already swallowed the whole bag, 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 you know, I mean, and swallowed much of the acid. Before the friend came, he said, ah, he was drank acid. You know, the next thing for anybody is to throw the bottle away and start panicking. But the man looked at the bottle, immediately he remembered this word of the Lord. He remembered that even if you drink anything poisonous, it will not harm me. The man said, I drank water. The friend said, No, no I drank water. I drank water. He began to repeat it as in the name of Jesus, I drank water. I do not drink acid. Then uh, they began to call everybody, call, the, call um, everybody in the company. They took the contents of the bottle because the friend was perplexed. They were expecting him to call ambulance. They were expecting him to drop dead or drop whatever. This man kept saying, I drank water. I drank water. They took the bottle, they poured the acid on something else. And that on the contents of that bottle burnt that thing like the acid should do. But nothing happened to this brother. Nothing happened. Because he kept repeating, I did not drink poison. I did not drink acid. I drank water. The Bible says with all those things that are not as if they were, another person would have panicked. If this person would have panicked, and that acid will start because as they start to confess that they drank acid, before you know the acid will start working. It is what you confess with your mother will happen. So the Jesus said, in my name, even if you drink anything deadly, it will not hurt you. He said, they will lay hands on the sick and they will get well. And you get it tonight to exercise the power in that name of Jesus Christ. That is what we believe in. That is why we, as believers, as Christians, that is, that is our confidence, our confidence, our power that we have a name that is above every other name. Are you ready tonight to exercise that name? You are going to be declaring that in the name of Jesus Christ, I cast out every step so thank you, my children. So thank you, my hope. Are you praying now? Are you declaring? Are you, are you praying tonight? In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. I come against you. I come against you, demon. Every affliction that has been tormenting my life. Every agent coming that has been becoming my life. In the name of Jesus. I come against you. And I cast you out. Begin to cast them out. Cast them out of your life. In the name of Jesus, are you praying to me? Are you praying that you stand in your heart? Believe in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, say, I cast out every devil. Name of Jesus. Oh, are you going to be 
against the rock. Pick up that serpent that has been disturbing your mind. Pick them up. Pick them up. Every serpent in your body. Every serpent in your
receive the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we are going to proceed with our prayer that says, I exercise the authority mm. in the name of Jesus. Yes, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, mm. we are going to read from the book of Acts 3 6 that says, But Peter said, mm. Silver and gold I do not have, mm. but what I do have, I give to you yes. in the name and the authority and power of Jesus Christ mm. the, of Nazareth. Mm. Begin now to walk and go on walking yes. in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Tonight, we are going to exercise the authority in the name of Jesus and bring alive every deadly thing mm. in our life. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are mm. going to say this prayer. Ex ex Father Almighty, mm. we exercise authority in the name of Jesus mm. and we pray for everyone mm. that need mm. that in challenge that that in one or one challenges or problem, mm. we plead them tonight in, in the mighty name of the Father Almighty. Everyone that is strong, Father, we free them with the name of Jesus Christ, the name and the authority that is above every other name. In the name of Jesus, Father Almighty, in the name of Jesus. Father Almighty, we lose the authority yes, that in the name of Jesus. Father, and we pray for everyone that is in need, that is in college, that has come tonight. Father, we declare them free in the name of Jesus. We declare them free in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Almighty, in the mighty name of Jesus, who has set me. In the mighty Amen. name of Jesus, from every challenge of your life, you are set free. From every trouble of your life, you are set free. From every need of your life, you are set free. In the name of Jesus, from every financial trap, you are set free. From every death, you are set free. From every sickness, you are set free. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father Almighty, set us free tonight. Every challenge of life, set us free from every death that is that is tormenting us. Father Almighty, set us free tonight in the mighty name of Jesus from everything that is tormenting our life. Father Almighty, with your name, Father, with your name, with the authority in your name, we declare every woman free in the name of Jesus Christ from every trouble. Father, we declare of in the name of Jesus, Father Almighty, we thank you, Father. We give you to in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Jesus. Whatever your need may be, today as we exercise this authority, your needs are met. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every challenge or trouble becomes a sin of the past. We stand in the name of Jesus. And we declare freedom to everyone in captivity. In the mighty name of Jesus. And lastly, you are going to pray this prayer for yourself. If you remember one of the scriptures I read to us at the beginning, when Jesus said, you need to ask the Father what you want in my name. Jesus said, I'm not going to ask for you. He said, you ask the Father. You ask the Father. So tonight, we have been given a name that is about Every knee must bow. Maybe as we were praying, we don't, maybe what you have got, maybe what your problem is, or what you want, what your needs are, have not been mentioned. But tonight, you have to know that at the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. For the Bible says in Philippians chapter 2, verse 9 to 10, he said, For this reason also, because we obey and so completely humble himself. God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee should pass in submission of those who are in heaven and on earth and underneath the earth. What is that thing that needs to bow? What is that situation that needs to bow? What is that problem that needs to bow? Please come to this altar as you come to this altar tonight. Open your mouth wide. You know, who are going to make a declaration for yourself? Everything that you think must bow, begin to name them. You know, let me tell you something. If you have a problem of headache, 
I want you to address that headache and say, headache, bow to the name of Jesus. If you have problem with your leg, bow in the name of Jesus. If you are in death, thank God that you are
our key. This is our key. By the name of Jesus, we open every door. We thank you tonight for the authority that you have given us in the name of Jesus. Thank you for everything that we have scattered tonight by the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for what we have laid up tonight through the name of Jesus. Thank you for the power that works in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you because we will not forget Thank you for fortifying us by the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you that we can come to you, Father, through the name of Jesus and you hear us mm. and you answer us. We pray for me. We honor you for the gift of the name of Jesus. Mm. Thank you for comforting every soul tonight. Thank you for healing every soul. Thank you for delivering every soul. Thank you, Father, for your covering over us. Thank you, Lord, for the name that you have given to us. We praise your name. We honor you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We give God the praise and the glory for the name that is above every other name. Amen. Have you been blessed by the name of Jesus? As your confidence level risen higher, you know, as it increased tonight, knowing that the name of Jesus has so much power, you know, it's just a reminder so that we did not know before. But maybe we have not asked if our joy is full. Jesus says, ask ah, your joy is full. So the name of Jesus, we use it to knock the door. And the door of the Father is open wide unto us. In the name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the glory. Every victory that you have given to us tonight, we seal by the blood of Jesus. Amen. So you be all the glory, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen, amen, amen. If you have any prayer points, please put it on the chat. But while we're waiting for prayer points, let's bring an offering before the Lord to say thank you for the gift of the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for the gift of the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory tonight in the name of Jesus. We bless your name that you have given us the name that is above every other name. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. 
can we bring an offering to say thank you? Let's bring an offering before the Lord to say thank you, Father, for the gift of the name of Jesus. We are very, very grateful in the name of Jesus. Do we have any prayer point tonight? Do we have any prayer point from anyone? I believe even using the name of Jesus has removed every obstacle from our way. And we are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Take a screenshot of this. Of this. If you want to give at any time, you are more than welcome to give unto the Lord in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, to everyone that has been able to give tonight, for your word says, do not come before me empty and for everyone that has been able to give, Father, we declare your blessing upon them in the name of Jesus. For those who don't have, Lord, who can who don't who cannot give because they don't have, Father, we declare your blessing upon them, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, that doors will open of their own accord unto your people in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, we praise you, we honor you tonight in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. Amen. While we are waiting for any prayer point, let's share quickly some information with us. Next week, Saturday, by the grace of God, we are starting our monthly Numa Penoshi training. If you have not attended this training before, if you have not attended Numa Penoshi, you know, this is the time for you to attend. It's going to be monthly and it's starting the 20, on the 20th of April, April 20th. Is the third Saturday of every month. The third Saturday of every month from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. So wherever you are, all over the world, wherever you are, you know, wherever you are all over the world, you can join this training. So it's going to be from April to September for six months, monthly, every month from April to September. Please share with people in Nigeria, share with people in Caribbean, share with people in India, in any part of the world, in, in the UK, in, in, the, in America, share with everyone, 4 to 7 p.m. Let them be blessed by this training. And it is free. It is free. It is free of charge. You know, Christ has paid for it with his blood. We are going to be training us on how to be purposeful, how to turn our gifts to profitable ventures, how to be profitable for the Lord. So if you have anyone, share with members of your church. So it is starting next week, Saturday, and it's just one Saturday in a month, and it's going to be in the evening, 4 to 7 p.m. If you have attended the training before and you want a refresher, please come and join. You know, so every time this training comes up, there's always something new. There's always something new. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Three hours every third Saturday of the month. And lastly, the Saturday, ne not next week, two Saturdays, you know, two Saturdays, and we are going to be having our conference and exhibition. Our annual conference and exhibition by the grace of God is coming on. We invite you all. Please make it a date. All right? We invite you all to this, to this um, conference and exhibition. Please make it a date. Please come. We would love to see you. We are going to have specialized master classes. If you want to learn on how, if you want to learn how to start a recruitment agency, please come. If you want to know how to start a franchise business, you know, some of us don't know how to start a business from the scratch, but you can buy a business. You can buy into business that are already established and they will give you all the tools, all the apparatus, to be able to deliver or to be able to run a successful business. That is what we call franchise. So a franchisee is coming to train us. And that's one of the master classes. Then if you have students or people who are on student visa or other type of visa and they want to change to tier two or post study work, skilled worker, and how to make themselves employable so that, I mean, employers can take them and give them skilled work. You know, that training, that is part of the um, um, master class for those who want to know more. So if you have anyone around you, please share this with them. And uh, there's going to be a masterclass. And then, of course, how to publish a book, how to become a self-published author. So that's part of the um, masterclass that we're going to be having. And we're going to be having, you know, our, our, our training lectures, our lectures for that day, three powerful lectures. One is going to be on technology, how you can grow, because our team is on precedented growth. How do you grow through recent technological changes, AI, artificial intelligence? 
how can that help you to grow in your personal life as a professional person, as a business person, as a step as someone in ministry? That is part of the training. I mean, the part of the lectures we are going to be receiving. We are going to have unprecedented growth strategy through collaboration and relationship. How do you collaborate? How do you have strategic collaboration that can help you grow? This year, we must grow. This year, our businesses must expand. Personally, we must grow. Professionally, we must grow. So please, everybody, come to this conference and exhibition. And lastly, we are going to be having awards. Awards, uh, award um, ceremony is part of this. We are going to be recognizing people who have contributed so much into other people's lives through their businesses, their ministry, their social work, you know, and our award, um, the people we are giving their awards to, they cut across different categories. And so please um, make it a date. We would love to see you. We would love, and then exhibition. For those that want, if you have a business, a ministry, a product you want to promote, please let us know. For as little as 25 pounds, you can promote your product, your ministry, your business in our magazine, in our um, 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 conference brochure, please. Um, take um, take advantage of this. If you want to exhibit your product for as little as fifty pounds, you can get to exhibition table. Bring your product, bring your stand. You know, come and come and speak. People, be connected. Promote what you have. Be connected with people, and then there's opportunity for you to make you know collaborations there. You will find people. You speak to people. There's a lot of networking that will take place. All of this at Trinity Hall, Taunton Road. You know, um, London SE twelve eight PD on Saturday the twenty seventh of April. Please, we would, we would love to see you. God bless you so much. Come and support Numapreneurship. Come and support Christian Entrepreneurship because the goal of the conference is to advance Christian Entrepreneurship globally. You know, this is our own. Not many occasions you find out there on Christian entrepreneurship. So invite people in your church, invite people in your organization. Let's come together and talk about growth. And in the name of Jesus, this year we will experience that unprecedented growth in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you all. I believe we are all well and sound and ill and hearty. No prayer point tonight. The name of Jesus has solved it all. Amen. Amen. And please lead us in closing prayer. Father, we are going to thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the opportunity given to us tonight mm -hmm. to come to you through Jesus' name. Thank you. When, when you say that no one comes to me except through the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. that is the name that we come to you through tonight. Yes, yes, yes. For every of our prayer tonight, Father, we declare then a quick answer to yes, me Lord. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We declare quickest answer to me in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father Almighty, yes, we are in your custody. Yes, we come Lord. with the authority of Jesus. We come with the authority in the name of Jesus to you tonight. Yes. Father Almighty, every of our prayer tonight, yes. Father, let us get answer to it. Amen. In the mighty Amen. name of Amen. Jesus. Father, we already have our answer tonight. All things that stand as challenges in, in, in our way, Father, they are already removed in the mighty name of Jesus. All obstacles are removed. All hindrances are removed in the mighty name of Jesus. Everybody, we are healed in the name of Jesus. Christ. Amen. Thank you. Give you praise. We will Jesus. come back next week to yes, give a Lord. very big testimony yes, Lord. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank we you, give Father. you praise. Thank we honor Lord. you, Daddy. Yes, in Lord. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Next week, at this altar, on this altar of mercy, we shall be praying for complete purification, healing, wholeness of our body. The whole prayer of next week is concerning this body. You know, when your body is well, you'll be able to do business. You'll be able to do ministry. You'll be able to do profession. So if you have any issue in your body that is troubling your body, let's come because next week you're going to be using the authority that we find in our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says he went about doing good and healing all who are afraid of the devil for God was with him. So that authority is what we are using next week. And we are going to be made whole. So let's invite people to come on this altar. If you know anyone that is sick in the body. So this next week is the deliverance of the body from every form of sickness and fortification of our body against 
any form of sickness. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord bless you. Let's all unmute as we share the goodness together. Let's go. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days. Of and we are the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 God bless you all and thank you for joining tonight. God yeah. bless you. Have a very beautiful night. Sleep well in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.